Hey guys, I had this little green Lindsay car at my mom's house for a while. And just yesterday I got this Lindsay car in the box uh, from Joe in the last video. So just to show you, I'm going to restore both of them. And if you see here, the wheels have these little tabs on them. But if you put a very small screwdriver right in there and just go back and forth, back and forth very slowly and then the wheels will lift out like so. So then you can see the little tabs I'm talking about. You want to do it as slow as you can because they break off very easy. Now off camera, I took my time to do them. So... The wheels are in nice condition. So all I'm going to do is put them in vinegar to clean them up. I'm going to take the paint off of this one. And, and still wool it down a little bit. And then I'm going to take the wheels out of this one. Also. Thanks Joe for this car by the way. It's a very, these are very simple toys. They're really easy to restore. Let me take the wheels off for this one, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so just took the back, the wheels off the front and back. On this little car, it was just one, one little tab on each end. And again, I did it as slow as I can to avoid cracking that little post. These are fun to restore, and you can really practice on them before you do something that, you know, make a mistake on a good car. This is a number 12 Lindsay toy, and it was black to begin with, so I'm going to paint it black. This one uh, is a Lindsay toy, the green race car, and it's, I don't have this color green, but I do have a, a nice blue. I'm going to paint it in blue. I know you, when you restore something, you bring it back to the original, but I have a nice blue that will, that will be... Uh, really cool with it so right now i'm going to go strip the paint and um, i'll bring it back with the paint boat off of both of them rock miracle Paint and varnish remover. Gloves on, goggles on. Although sometimes it will go through the gloves, so you got to be careful. If I can get a rag right now. Okay. It didn't go through these gloves. Got some stubborn paint on these little cars. The Hot Wheels cars of today, it would have been done already. Well, let's let it soak a minute. I'll pour some more on it. And I'll get right back to you. Okay, so we're still in the process of taking the paint off. As you can see, these old cars have really strong paint on them. Not like today's cars. Be right back with you. 
Okay. So that was the green car. And all well, the paint is off of it. I didn't hit it with the steel wool. I'm just going to hit it lightly with some soap and water because I really don't want to ruin it. And this is the black car, which again, also, I'm going to hit it with soap and water right now. And then I'll do the wheels in vinegar. Get right back to you. Okay, here's the finished product. This one will be painting blue. And the black one I'm going to paint black. I'm going to set, go set up my little paint shop, my paint booth. And uh, while, that, while they're drying, I'll be cleaning up the axles and the tires. Okay, so after very little with the steel wool, that's the primer. I almost forgot about the primer, guys, but it's a very important step. Primer. As you can see. And this is the primer I'm using. Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. Right from Home Depot, nothing special. While I'm at my workbench, that's my parts department. All leftover stuff from things I put together and crazy customs. Okay, we're gonna let these dry and I'll uh, get back to you right before I uh, paint them. So there you have it. I have the two sets of wheels in distilled vinegar. These wheels are really good shape as you can see. And then I'll clean up the little bit of rust that's on the wheels right there later on. But I learned this I learned this part. I learned a lot of this stuff from um, on YouTube from Bare Metal HW. He does all those restorations. He's like the really I think he's the best best restorer on on YouTube at the time. And Lucas Dad also. But I'm gonna let them sit in there for a little while and then do the other set. Uh, the cars are still drying. This is just distilled white vinegar. And it does the job great. Okay, so the both cars are totally primed. They really feel nice. They feel smooth. Came out good. And uh, this one's going to be black like it originally was. And this one's going to be a blue. A blue that I have. I can always repaint it if I come across the dark green. But let's go paint them. I spray painted the black one twice. Okay, and here's the finished product. We'll do each car by itself. This car was originally uh, green in the beginning of the video. It's now uh, completed, painted blue. I did a little silver right there and there on the tailpipes and I did silver on the front grill and I did silver in the seat. A little po portions of the bottom are painted blue but most of it's primed and the axles, I just sanded down the axles with a little emery board and put the wheels back on and clamped them in place. That's an easy restoration. It's a fun restoration. If you uh, want to try something out, you can find these cars 
at the flea markets for like two for a dollar or a dollar three for a dollar and here's the car that was originally black it's completely done I did the front of this one silver in the grill I did the seat also in silver you can see there and the tops of the motors the tops of the motor pipes silver and the back silver um, also with the axles I grinded them down just with emery board sanding them down the wheels were put in vinegar so you don't have to start out big in this hobby I didn't here's a good shot of, of both of them it's just take your time start off with little cars like this I like doing these cars there's they're, they're really simple and now this blue one is going to go on a, a shelf back on the shelf my mom's house and I'll put the black one there also let me have them let me put them both in the same direction and there you have it if you have any questions about the steps please uh, leave it in the comments below I'm not an expert myself I enjoy restoring little toy cars uh, I do it by practice and this is a great way to practice on with these little Lindsay toys uh, I have more cars coming to you guys coming soon another crazy custom I'm working on please subscribe hit the bell so you know what I'm uh, doing uh, leave your comments below God bless thanks again for watching Mike Espo